Hello everybody, welcome back to Flying Lions. Uh, today we're going to be doing a requested video from a viewer. They were asking from a, another video, reviewing the GameZero VX2, they were asking if I could do a video on how to charge this little device. And yes, yes I can. Thanks for asking. If you would like to see any requested videos, just do it down in the comments below. Uh, and I usually read almost all the comments. So... Yeah, if you got any requests, just ask me, and I can see what I can do. Alright, so let's start it. So again, look at your control panel right up here. It is blue whenever it's at good charge, and whenever it turns red, it usually shuts off. And I understand it can get quite annoying whenever you're in the middle of a gaming session, it dies on you. But there are solutions to that. Fortunately for you, it uh, comes supplied with a Type-C cable. It doesn't matter what type of Type-C cable you use. You can use all of them, just about. I wouldn't recommend using cheap, cheap ones, because it's just I don't feel comfortable using that. But what you can do is once this device shuts off, because it's such a low battery, you can actually plug it into a power pack, and then into the device, and it will run off of it just fine, including the mouse. And then, or you can plug it into a wall wart onto your power strip and your uh, wall. And that will work just fine too. And you can also plug it into your laptop with the receiver, of course, and use it that way always work just fine because the device uses less electricity than is supplied so it usually charges up over time and it's been a great little keyboard one person actually commented in the my that same video if I had ran into any latency issues and hey Apollo we got a we got a little uh, somebody joining us today back to it uh, asking if we had any latency issues with this little device and for the most part, no. Not really. I couldn't notice any at all. It feels kind of weird when you're using the mouse. Always be he's asking me for pets. It feels kind of weird using the mouse because it's acting like a analog stick. Keep that in mind. If you're using it on a computer, you can't really notice. Uh, but if you're plugged into a controller, it will try to act like an analog stick. And it might feel quite weird. But if you have your receiver too far away or behind your desk, it may run into several milliseconds of latency. And that is very noticeable. And you don't want that. But if you keep it relatively close to the receiver, it works just fine. But overall, the experience with this keyboard, I've had it for several months now. It has been a great keyboard. None of the keys got worn down. It still has just enough click as a W to the F does, and Apollo is saying hello again. This is a rotten little pupper do. Um, it has been a great little keyboard, and the mouse hasn't felt gummy, sticky. It, it works just fine. It still feels nice and clickety. The keyboard has been a great $100 well spent, especially that I can use it on my Switch and my PS4. I mean, you can use keyboard and mouse on almost all games on PS4, but games that you can't this comes in handy because of that little device. So yeah, it's been a great little keyboard. So yeah, that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching. If you like, I said a few minutes ago, if y'all would like to see any other requested videos, just comment on down below, and I'll see what I can do. So please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one later.